Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming and sometimes hair so that sounds like a thing. Make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not going to see here on YouTube. As promised, I bring to you my evening skincare routine. My morning routine, as I mentioned, is usually all about protection um, from the sun and environmental stresses. My evening routine is, I, I, I take a lot more um, like pride in my evening routine. I take a lot more time and I want to wake up looking clear skinned and refreshed. So I really, really focus on products that repair my skin, improve my skin tone and texture and overall health of my skin overnight. My goal is to wake up with um, better skin than I went to bed with. So let's just get into it. Um, I like to keep these videos a little bit unscripted, so sorry if I like waffle on a bit or um, I don't cover very many points or um, whatever. So I just want to start by saying I'm using, like, trialing this new sunscreen. It's a um, mineral sunscreen and it, it's kind of like a bit like, um, it makes me feel very matte and I don't like that and it makes me look very um, dry and there's no definition to my skin. Oh, these reds flaring up today. It just looks a bit dull. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to get it off basically. So of course I double cleanse. So I'm using um, the Pharmacy Green Clean. It's like a good scoop full. By the way, basically this comes with a really cheap top to it, like a really cheap plastic top. So I just keep the spatula in there, um, give it a clean before I put it back in. So yes, it's been sunnier than usual here in the UK. Um, it's raining again today, but I have been Piling on the sunscreen, so reapplying and reapplying every two hours. I work by a window and I walk my dog. So I need to like keep reapplying. I just love getting like all oh, the layers and layers of sunscreen off my face. It's so, so soothing. And the moment you spread that over your face, you can feel the difference. You can feel how instantly kind of like relieved your skin is. When I cleanse with an oil-based first cleanser, so cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, my skin just feels so soft and soothed throughout, not just this bit, like the whole routine. And when I just use a water-based cleanser, it just feels like a little bit like, mm, you know, it feels a little bit dry still. But there's something about an oil cleanse that just makes it feel so nice. Sorry, my mirror is like above the camera, so sorry if I'm not looking directly into the lens sometimes. So yeah, get all this crap off and allow that water cleanser to do its job properly. Don't know what it is about summer that I just really don't like. I feel like in winter, you're cozy and like all the good stuff happens in winter, like Halloween and Christmas and not New Year's. Does anyone celebrate New Year's anymore? I don't know. And you know, you can always add layers to make yourself warmer. In summer, it's just like nothing happens. It's constantly hot. You're always sticky and sweaty. Just see people walking around with burnt shoulders all, all the time. <laughs> and there's only so many layers you could take off until you're naked and still boiling hot. It's not for me. I just don't like summer. Okay, so now we emulsify. I'm gonna go do this at the sink because it gets a little bit messy and I'm obviously in my room. But a lot of people ask, emulsifying is just adding a bit of water, then making it into more like a milky texture, um, massaging that around again, and then rinsing away. Obviously, a part of the double cleanse is the water cleanse. Obviously, I like a cleanse that's not stripping, it's not gonna dry me out. We know, the, the usual, you know, you know. Especially in the evenings, I like to use an exfoliating uh, cleanser. This one, this is the Holly Frog. Holy frog, <laughs> I get it wrong every time. Shasta AHA Refining Acid Wash. This has five different types of um, AHA in. I use way too much. Of course, AHAs primarily for me help even out the skin tone as well as obviously exfoliate. So with exfoliating cleansers, obviously you want to leave them on the skin for a little bit longer than usual than you would do with a normal cleanser. You know, allow them to work a bit. The thing, am I central? No, there we go. What I love about this particular cleanser is that it doesn't dry out your skin like a lot of other um, exfoliating cleansers do. For example, I really like my CeraVe BHA one, but it's very foamy, it can dry out my skin, and you want to leave the cleanser on your skin for a while in order for it to have more benefits, I guess. So this one kind of feels more like a milky um, wash away mask, if that makes sense, like a hydrating milky mask. There's no irritation whatsoever, not even like a tingling sensation, nothing. And I feel like I could honestly like just kind of like move this around my skin for, I don't know, like 15 minutes without it even drying out. I love it. Um, and then the moment I wash it off, which I'm gonna do now, um, it just feels nice. My skin feels nicely hydrated. I feel like I've had enough. Um, I feel like I've got a decent amount of exfoliation in there without any kind of irritation on my skin either. 
you ever got product up your nose or mouth before? There was one product that I used to use years ago that I always used to get it up my nose somehow. And I don't know how. It used to sting so bad. So when I was much younger, I swear it was like a grapefruit foaming face wash or something. And it would sting so bad. Okay, so I'm going to go wash this off. I'm going to shower now. This isn't how I usually do my evening routine. What I usually do is wash my hair before I wash my face. Because um, I don't I don't like suds going all over my face. But I will just have to make sure I don't get any suds on my face. And I would do my neck as well. So I'll do my neck in the shower. So I'm going to go shower, then I'll be back, and then we'll do the rest of the routine. Okay, out of the shower. I'm going to go straight in with my essence now. This is the oh, <laughs> Time Revolution Artemis... Is it Artemisia or Artemisia essence? Um, treatment essence from Misha. I'm actually skipping a toner and just going straight into this onto damp skin. Oh, that wasn't my face. So I usually use a toner, of course, to hydrate the skin after. And I always, I do like toners for the, just the visual as well. They always tend to make my skin look like a little bit more glowier um, for the rest of my routine and throughout the rest of the day. But I'm going to be doing a few more steps this evening, obviously. And this essence in particular um, is good at moisturizing um, and hydrating. So it's kind of like the reason I use a toner anyway. So I'm just going to use this essence as it kind of just does everything I need it to do. This is in fact a first essence, even though they don't say it on the packaging. If you look on their website very carefully, pretty much all the essences are first essences. So yeah. So this would go on before a toner anyway. So I love this essence. I've got the normal essence -y kind of packaging and the spray version. I've got, um, just ordered this as well, which is the ample version. It's amazing for moisturizing, soothing, irritated skin, rebalancing the skin. And it, the, these are exactly the same. Like, there's no, I feel like this one's a little bit more expensive. They're exactly the same, exactly the same ingredients. I do just like a mist version in the evening because as I said, I'm adding a few more layers. So it's nice and light. And as I'm adding layer upon layer, I want to keep it light, as light as possible. So yeah, I do enjoy that a lot. Has my redness gone down? Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, one, what, where's my things? What? One thing I do, and people always ask me about this, is I put these little Velcro patches in because my hair dries very, very quick. Then ends up just like falling over my face for the rest of my routine. And having hair in my face when I'm getting ready is like the most annoying thing or unready. It's really, really annoying. These are like one, one pound 20 or something from Yesstar. They're really cheap. I honestly think you just get like the rough side of Velcro and do the same thing. But yeah, let's talk about treatments. Because as I said, like my evening routine for me is mainly about the treatment stage repairing. So I'm going to tell you what I'm using currently. As you know, I do have my old favorites. My job is to test skincare and um, review skincare basically. So um, any normal person would stick to what works for them. But I literally, if I want to pay my rent, have to try new stuff. <laughs> So if I've mentioned a product before that I absolutely loved and you're loving it and you're, you've bought it and you want to try it, I still like it. I just need to try new stuff all the time. So there's two particular like uh, topics, not topics, <laughs> what am I talking about? There's two areas of the skin that I like to concentrate on when it comes to my serums and treatments and that's repairing skin barrier or strengthening my skin barrier and evening out skin tone. So I still, let's start with evening out skin tone. I still have the Cosrx White Mela 14 Ample. It's discontinued. I'm going to give you an alternative. But this has just been a staple as far as like helping to even out my skin tone. Um, boop. Redness, dark spots, discoloration of any type. This has been amazing for the last three years. It's very alcohol heavy. Like you can smell the alcohol. So if you're very dry, I would avoid it. But this contains niacinamide, um, glycolic acid. Also we have Pyrus Malice, which is apple fruit water. Um, this is meant to be a gentle exfoliant. And this is like, um, like a Cosrx staple, I feel. But I don't believe there's a lot of like research behind that. I don't believe there's a lot of evidence supporting that. Um, it has many benefits for the skin. But you know, if something's working for you, you can have all the science or lack of science or research or whatever. But if something's doing its job and it's working for you, then use it. We also have Allantoin, Allantoin, uh -huh. which is nice and soothing, but also helps cell turnover. So that could be why it was so effective for me. So yeah, I was actually able to get my hand on two more bottles. <laughs> two brand, um, like, um, London-based K-beauty shops were like, like, we're not selling this anymore because it's discontinued. Do you want them? And I was like, yes. An alternative that I've actually been enjoying, um, I should, I should have used it just now really instead of that one, but the tranexamic acid from, um, 
the inky list. I feel like I'm gonna be talking about it a fair bit in this week's video, so I didn't wanna bring it up again. But tranexamic acid is known to really, really help with the appearance of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Even melasma, I think it has to be from 2% to 5% concentration. This is 2% and I have high hopes for it. It's definitely been helping with the redness. I'm yet to see an improvement. I've got a little, where is it, there? Like a dark spot um, from like basically a dog fight. <laughs> it was a dog fight. Playing with my puppy. So I'm waiting to see how effective it is on that. So yeah, hopefully more and more about that. But that is like a favorite of this month. I've been trying it a fair bit. But yeah, really been loving that. So what I'm gonna use next, where is it? Oh no. So for the um, barrier strengthening repair section of my routine, I have been, again, the inky list. I've really been enjoying the inky list recently, but the ceramide night treatment um, is a uh, treatment I love. So I just take a few pumps of this. It's quite thick. So I use it as like um, after serums before moisturizer because it's not quite moisturizing enough um, to be your last moisturizer. So ceramides are basically the glue that holds our skin cells together. Get in those areas of irritation in particular. And it forms a protective layer and prevents moisture loss, helps prevent moisture loss. Environmental factors like pollution, the sun, sun damage, and of course aging, um, basically can affect um, how effective our own ceramides are. So a product like this really gives our skin a boost, a little helping hand. So yeah, it's quite a thick product. The next step is probably gonna be a bit surprising. Like it's an oil. I don't care for oils. Um, I just find them a little bit like, mm -hmm. like they're nice, they're nice. You know, like a bubble bath is nice. I've never used any that I thought, wow, this is incredible. It's doing amazing stuff for my skin. In my early days, I loved argan oil, but I've just found like better alternatives to that. But, but, but. <laughs> this is Nat Naturium Plant Squalane Face Oil, 100%, 100%. And I have been absolutely loving this. Before I apply this, a lot of people ask me if you should apply oils before or after moisturizers. For me, it gets a little bit confusing. Um, it depends on a few factors. So I would personally just say, do whatever the packaging says to do. So this is to apply for heavier moisturizers. If I was using a light moisturizer, I would use that first and the oil, but I'm gonna be applying quite a thick, occlusive moisturizer next. So I'm gonna be applying this first. So no, this is found naturally within our sebum, not this product, Squalane, it's found naturally within our sebum. And it's basically an emollient and like a natural antioxidant. That's way too much. You don't need that much product at all from this. But I'm using this primarily for my skin for the emollient factor of it. As I said, with this particular product, you need literally like two small drops of this and it's enough to cover your face and neck. Again, I haven't been showing me doing my neck just because it's ugly and I'm wearing a dressing gown. I don't want to get like my cleavage out. I've been loving this, like to help prevent any um, moisture loss from my skin, any tool. Smooth my skin and lock in that hydration and moisture. Since using this, I've honestly been waking up with like baby smooth skin. It always infuriates me how good baby skin is and how like good little kid skin is. I wish like we start with shit skin and then it just gets better with age. Cause you don't care when you're that young, do you? Like who cares? And this doesn't feel heavy. Squalane's known for that. It's not known for feeling like a heavy, oily oil. <laughs> People always get confused. I'm always like, it feels like an oil, but it doesn't feel greasy, which is pretty much how you describe an oil, but it doesn't feel greasy. It just feels nice and light. Not like a dry oil. It's just lightweight. Like I'm not gonna go to bed now and feel sticky. Um, well, I'm not going to bed now. It's still quite early. I'm gonna have dinner, but um, I'm not gonna feel sticky for the rest of the night. I'm not gonna feel like I've got this like um, wrap around my face. But yes, I would be very happy using this. Um, <laughs> what was that? Um, in summer as well in the evening. Look, see, it's doing it. All my hair is like falling down. So yeah, I love this. I've been loving this brand. Like I want to try everything. Like their range of products is very, very tempting to just kind of like want to use all at once. But um, yeah, I need to be patient. The final thing I do, maybe one of the final things is apply an occlusive heavy moisturizer. And that's what really, really does make me feel like I finished my routine. Like everything's locked in. I'm good to go to bed. I'm gonna wake up. I'm not gonna feel dry. I'm not gonna wake up with skin that feels and looks dull and lifeless and usually covered in pillow dents, you know? Some occlusives I look for actually, um, 
not look for, but they're mainly the ones that are always in moisturizers, like nighttime moisturizers that I like. Lanolin alcohol, cetyl alcohol, squalene, petroleum, and cholesterol. My current favorite moisturizer that I, I'm going on about all the time, and I feel like you're gonna be seeing a lot more of on this channel is the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer. This contains like a surprising amount of like beneficial ingredients. I remember reading the ingredient list and I was like, first of all, that's very, very long. Like I've not even read a book that long before. <laughs> I don't read books, I can't, I don't have the attention span. So this has oat milk in, um, which is really good for soothing your skin, which is so nice after like a long day, being forced to go out and have fun in the sun. Jojoba seed oil, which is great for um, all skin types really, oily and dry skin. This looks really white on camera, it's not It's not like this. It's also something called um, desert fig or something. Um, which I'm not too bothered about. But Milk claims again that that softens and soothes the skin. But for me, it's just a nice thicker moisturizer that helps lock everything in. And it's not like horribly heavy either. It's a nice thick moisturizer, but without feeling like it's bogging your skin down. And again, you're not gonna be sticking to your pillow. And this isn't gonna be like seeping into your eyes after a few hours, you know? Speaking of treatments, it's at this point that I usually use a retinol, but if I'm gonna use a retinol, um, I, um, my skin's still a little bit sensitive to it. Um, and I always wake up dry still, even though I feel like I have built up my tolerance. So I would put over a moisturizer, but on nights that I use retinol, I literally just do the basics. So I will cleanse, I'll use a toner, um, an essence, and not the basics. A moisturizer, then my retinol. For me, it's like a whole evening of just like, dedicated to the retinol. I will try not buffering it soon, see how I get on. Lip balm, of course, uh, this is glossierbirthdaybalm.com. It's, this is tacky, it's got glitter and shit. Like, any old lip balm will do. I just bought like the whole set of them, so. If I had a spot as well, I would have used a pimple patch before the oil and before the uh, moisturizer, being very, very careful not to seep it in product because they tend to just slip away. I swear by pimple patches. Honestly, if I have a spot and I put a pimple patch on, it's usually gone by the next day. Overnight, it's flattened. The redness has gone down. It's barely noticeable. I like fancy ones. I like non-fancy ones. I like gimmicky, fun ones. My favorite at the moment being the star face ones. Um, you get these amazing, where are they? Little like glow in the dark ones. Um, you see them there. I just love them. They're literally just pimple patches in the shape. I'm I'm all for gimmicky shit, honestly. <laughs> so these are just mini hydrocolloid dressings, and they just create like a clean, safe environment for your pimple to heal. Also, the very generic ones are actually biodegradable as well. But yeah, I mentioned before, the moment I get a spot, the moment I have like a little spot of irritation, I put a pimple patch over so I can't pick at it, I can't scratch it, I can't irritate my skin even further. I have to be honest though, unless they do have micro darts in, like zit sticker, they're pretty much all the same. Last thing I do, I was really sick recently. I had a chest infection maybe like four weeks ago. At this time, I was a bit like, oh my God, do I have it? But the doctor actually recommended I sleep with a humidifier. Um, oh. So I do sleep with this on every single night anyway. Um, and what I like about this as well, going into summer, I'm probably not gonna need it as much, but during winter where the heating's always on, look at the lights change color. The um, heating's always on, the air is dry, like I'm going in and out of the house as well. So the, the wind is attacking my skin. It's nice to have that moisture back in the air, especially like when I'm in bed, like it's there and it's like all falling over my face. Damp air means the skin retains more moisture. You need to be hydrated in order for your skin barrier to do its job. This is just like, this was really cheap. It's from Amazon. It's one of the best, cheaper humidifiers I've ever got. It's quite large. Um, I left this on accidentally for like two days and there's still so much water left in there. And yeah, it just keeps your skin glowy and plump and just, yeah, nice. It also helps with snoring as well. So if you know someone who needs a little bit of help clearing that air wave, air wave, air wave humidifier could be for them. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go maybe put like a hair mask in or something. Let me know your favorite stage of the skin, evening skincare routine. I feel like it's my favorite skincare routine. Sometimes I can't wait to just like do it. You know, I, I can't wait to do my skincare routine in the evening. But yeah, that is it for me now, guys. I will see you next time.